Hello, hello, guys. Can you listen to me? Hello, Gloria. Can you listen to me? Hello. Okay, thank you so much, Gilbert, for confirming how important this is for me. I just tried to, um, you know, I try to make sure this time the audio and works before because <laughs> every time I, you know, used to leave the previous session and then I come back with, I mean, I joined your group and then it's by some reason the mic stopped working, but now I can see it's working. So welcome guys. Thank you so much for uh, your punctuality and something that I really like. Remember that if you want to have your camera on, that's a lot better because you are present here and now, okay? Whenever you have your camera on, it's like you're saying I'm present, I want to participate and that's important because sometimes when we have the camera off, you might just lay off, just chill and that's, you know, not recommended, especially because it's already 9 p.m. You might have many things uh, to do and I understand. Kim, tell me, Kim. Hi, teacher, I don't know if you can. Yes, tell me. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm working right now. I don't know if you hear me. So, I, <laughs> I'm in the world right now, but I missed the class. So, I don't know if you hear Wow. The problem. I really admire you, Kim. You are my hero. Hmm. No problem. That's what I, that's the attitude, Kim. Whenever you, Whenever you want to learn, you find no excuses. And you are, you are an example of that. You are working, but you are connected. So you can just be listening to our class. And if you have questions, and if you have the, the chance to ask, you are welcome to ask, okay? Thank you so much. All right. Well, guys, welcome. It's my privilege to be connected with you so we can talk and we can review some structures about English. And I would like to know if you investigated about what I asked you to do. I said, can you read about third person rules? Did you investigate anything about it? Can you share with me? Mm -hmm. I can see Ruth. Thank you so much for telling me. No problem, Ruth. Okay, so what did you investigate about third person rules? Anybody? Oh, you don't want to talk. Come on. I see some of you who usually have cameras on. Now you have them off. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. I can see. Uh huh. Only I see only three people. Hi. Yes, Olivia. Uh, um, uh, tercera persona is he, she, it. A uh, una regla sería agregarle I is uh -huh. al final. Uh -huh. For example, Go, eh, go es. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, that is a good one. If the verb ends with the vowel O, we add ES, says Olivia. For example, go, goes. What is another very popular verb that we have that ends with the, the vowel O? Guys. So Olivia already provided us with one. She says go, but if it is for third person, we, we say, we don't say she go, we say she goes, right? Because it's third person. What is another one that we have, which is very common verb that ends with O? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Who can tell me? Let's see. Yes, you got it, Ruth. You got it. That is the one. Do, and then we have das. Das is the other verb that I was telling you about. So these two are very common. They end with O, and then we have to, you know, add ES. 
that's one that's one rule thank you so much olivia what is another one that you guys um investigated mm -hmm. any other I, can, I don't know if, if it is because you don't want to share with me or you just didn't do the homework. What's your case? Raise your hand if you uh, investigate. I do not, teacher. Oh, you forgot it, Diana. I can see who did the homework, who investigated something. Whenever I ask you to do something, it's because I consider this is really important for you to speak you know, better English. And I would say, no, don't study rules, don't study grammar. People who say you know, those things, I you know, disagree with that. So it has to, it has to be like uh, practice and also grammar because grammar makes you speak proper English. So um, rules, I can see some of you did the homework, some of you didn't. I'm not going to go over that topic if you don't do the homework. <laughs> so please tomorrow, remember this, I want you to investigate third person singular rules. This is for uh, present Simple, simple present, affirmative. Okay, that is what, if you say, no teacher for me, that's easy, come on teacher. Then uh, I still want to hear you, okay? What are some uh, rules that you can recall? Uh, Salvador, please. Okay, teacher, good evening. Okay, I did good evening. a homework last night relate to spelling rule for the simple present tense in case of third person. It said the first one, we are S for most bird. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have some bird like uh, work, in the third person works, mm -hmm. buy in the third person buys. Right with the third person writes in return to the third person returns. The number two, we add ES for words that end in CH, S, S, H, Y, uh, X, or Z. For example, watch, watches, pass, passes, rush, rushes, relax, relaxes, buzz, buzzes. The number three, change the Y to I and add ES when the base form ends in a consonant plus Y. For example, study, studies, Harry, Harris, dry, dries. And then the last one, uh, in a few bear, we have irregular forms uh, like that B is, do, does, go, goes, and have has. This is the basic rule for the simple presence in case of using the third person. That's all. Thank you so much, Salvador. You know, that's the attitude. Okay, Salvador, guys, went over the most common rules. And what Salvador just said is exactly what we all need to have in our mind, like clear, so you don't make mistakes that are really easy to make or to correct. Because sometimes we tend to speak, but we don't realize we're making these little mistakes, which might interfere on the meaning, 
Okay, so thank you, Salvador, for providing all this, you know, uh, great input. So I really like it. Then I can see some other people typing as well. I can see root says ending in E Y O Y U Y do not change just R S, for example, play plays. Exactly. So if you have vowel write plus Y, then you don't say you don't change into I. That's really interesting and it's one of the ones that we want to focus on. And then we have Gabriela Natalie says when we use the auxiliary does that correspond to the third person, the uh, UDO of S, yes, and IES must be omitted. Okay, yes, I that is correct. So whenever we are using an auxiliary, we do not apply, right, the rules. Well, that's really good. Anybody else who would like to mention anything different, guys? Anything? Anything that you want? Let's see. I can see I have some other opinions. Let's see exactly, David. If we have it, then it is it. Now, for those who already investigated about third person, I have another challenge, Salvador. And this is the second challenge. Maybe you will do, I know you will do it. Investigate, investigate how to pronounce um, third, third, let me see, third person uh, sounds. There are three, S, Z, like, and then we have is three sounds i just send them and then this is your challenge now how do you pronounce let me give you an example if i write uh she let me see how do you pronounce this one Did you see she which one do you think uh do you have to um and then I'm, let me see, uh, let me, and then I'm gonna give you three examples. Okay, I just send you three examples to illustrate what I'm saying. Um, she works, she runs. She watches TV. Three sounds that I just did. So that's the next level I want you to go for and investigate how to pronounce the third person rule. There are three sounds. And then if you investigate tomorrow, you share with me what you found. I suggest that you also take a listen to some audios where this is being pronounced. This is for everybody, guys. Um, because the rules are given, but then sometimes we missed this important part, which is pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation, guys, plays an important role, a really important role. That is why today we are going to talk about pronunciation, especially about intonation, okay? I remember that we practiced last time about intonation. Uh huh, uh, Carla. How do how do you say she rises like like the snake, or she rises like a z down like a b? So in the in the example, Carla Merino sent. How do you pronounce this word? Just do you say s? Do you say z that sound, or do you say the extra syllable? Okay, do you say she rides or she rides or she rides a bike? So that's the, that's the question I want you to keep in mind and investigate it, okay? And there are some things that you, you need to read and get familiar with. So, but we talk about this tomorrow and let's focus on today's session, which is 10, session 10. And like I said, we are going to talk about intonation, okay? And let me ask you one quick question before I continue. What do you think is the role of intonation in a conversation or in a sentence? 
Does it matter? What have we said about this? ¿Qué hemos dicho de la entonación? ¿Qué hemos dicho de, de la pronunciación? ¿Importa o no importa? ¿En qué nos ayuda? Give me your opinions. Um, let me say that intonation is most important in pronunciation because it's determined the meaning of the word. Okay, it, nice. It, so Salvador says that it, it determines the meaning of the word. I agree with you that uh, the intonation will also affect in the meaning, okay? Is there any other opinion, guys? You are 20, okay, another opinion, maybe on the chat. Okay, ayuda a darle sentido y significado a lo que dice, okay? What do you know? If you have seen the video, you, you will know what I'm talking about. Do we have this intonation? Boom, this is rising. And then we have the, the other one. And this other one is falling. So we have rising intonation and falling intonation. Does it matter? When do you rise your intonation and when do you when do you fold the intonation? Do you know? Let's see who, who has watched the video. What can you tell me? When is suggested to use falling and rising intonation? Hmm, interesting. Maybe you haven't seen the class yet. Okay. But it's okay, we can go over this topic. Actually, this is one of the topic I always like because, oh, I think I have a message. Uh, it says, the intonation let us differentiate a question and an affirmation. Okay, it has to do with that. But then take a look at this one and I want you to help me with your own examples as well. So we have the objective and then, and we have some examples. Intonation in questions. I need to listen to some of you. Who wants to help me to read the first the first question? To read it. Take a look at the first question. How do you read it? Do you like pop music? Thank you. Thank you so much. Diana, do you want to read the same one? Question. It's the same one, the same one that was just read by your, by Carla, the same one. How do you read this one? Take a look and take into consideration this arrow rising. How do you read it? Mm -hmm. No lo entendí muy bien. <laughs> ¿Cómo leemos? ¿Cómo leemos a esta? ¿Cómo, la, ¿Cómo hacemos la entonación en ese tipo, tipo de preguntas? Can you, can you try? Okay. okay, you see. Okay, no problem, no problem. I understand. No worries. Uh, do you like pop music? Music? Is there any change on in intonation when you use, when you, when you say this one? And what about the second one? Look. Who wants to read it? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Okay. So it sounds like as if our intonation goes down, it falls, right? But how do we know when do we have to use rising and when do we have to use falling intonation? Who can tell me that? Based on these two questions, when is suggested falling and when is suggested rising intonation? Who can tell me that? Pay close attention to these two uh, questions and then provide me with your input, your ideas. 
when do we use to use falling and rising intonation? Anybody? Let's see. Mm. Yes, Ruth, you are right. Ruth just sent me the, the answer, which is cool. All right. Ruth says to me that uh, when we have just no questions, we use, what do we use? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Rise in intonation. Okay. So, yes, go ahead. Teacher, a uh, falling intonation is related to, you know, or is when we lower our voice at the end of a sentence. Mm -hmm. This usually happens in statement and in question that contains word like where, when, what, why, how, and who. Right. Also, these are called information questions. For example, nice to meet you. I'm going to the movies. Uh, also, rising intonation uh, is when we rise the pitch out our voice at the end of a sentence. Uh, we use the kind of intonation uh, that our answer with yes or no. This is uh, usually in yes, no question, maybe. You are totally right. You said something that is 100% what I was going to say. Whenever you guys have information questions, like uh, maybe one WH word, what, who, why, where, and the other ones that I'm missing, you are looking for more information. And in these scenarios, you are using or you need to use falling intonation at the end because you are looking for more info to be provided. But when you want to confirm, just no question, it is suggested to use rising intonation, like, like in the examples. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Do you like pop music? So if you want to confirm, yes, no, rising. If you want to get more info, falling. That's the simple as that, it's simple as that. So let's do something. I want you to, to um, take a look at these examples and then practice these intonations, okay? Let, give me a second, let me clear this and then let me move on. I know you might have seen them already, but practice, practice your intonation. And then, but I want you to write them down on your notebook, maybe, or a screenshot. And then I'm going to have you practice with a partner and decide which one is rising and which one is falling. I think it's kind of obvious, but still, I want you to practice and also try to provide one answer to each question, okay? So I'm going to assign you in pairs or in trios so you can work, use the intonation, and at the same time, I want you to answer. Quiero que practiquen estas, estas eh, preguntas que apliquen la entonación, entonación hacia, que tiene, el, como decía el compañero, pick hacia arriba, y luego las que, las que bajan. Entonces la entonación, ¿verdad? Decreciente. Y que luego las contesten, ¿ok? En pareja o en grupo de tres. Así que copien, no son muchas. O si no, pues si pueden, tienen la tecnología, le pueden tomar screenshot. Démosle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Voy, I'm going to give you two minutes para que las, so you can write them down. Two or three minutes. Go ahead, please. Copiémonos. Yes, David, tell me. Uh, I think this year uh, the intonation is not too valid to the language. Creo que la entonación le da la naturalidad al idioma para que no, no se lea o no se escuche como, como muy robotizado, sino que más activamente natural. 
with you. Estoy al 100% en acuerdo con usted cuando estamos leyendo algo y, y no hacemos una pausa, una coma o la entonación. Vaya, si yo, yo les apuesto que si me pongo a leer así, si me pongo a pronunciar las cosas despacito, es que fíjense que tengo que... Ustedes de repente se vuelven como más curiosos. ¿Qué está diciendo? Quiero escuchar. Entonces, como para llamar la atención, usted a veces baja el tono de voz, ¿verdad? Creo que la entonación no podemos en ningún momento dejarla por un lado cuando estamos estudiando el idioma. Así que por eso es que hoy vamos a practicar un par de veces esta. La van a contestar y luego me la van a compartir, ¿ok? Así que gracias por la intervención. Porque como dijo el compañero... Um, It helps. It helps. When we use the intonation, it will sound more natural. Okay, that's for sure. Okay, así que voy a hacer grupos de tres por si alguno de ustedes tiene algún inconveniente con el micrófono o no puede participar para que siempre quede alguien con ustedes. Les doy dos minutos más para que terminen de copiar. Two more minutes. Okay. Well, I think time is up. I'm going to I'm going to create the groups right now, guys, so you can practice. Asegúrense, por favor, yo sé que es, estamos 26 de que esas preguntas sean respondidas y trate siempre recomiendo poner un poquito de exageración. De repente la pregunta, pues si ya, ya, ya la conoce, exagérela un poquito, ¿verdad? Exagérela. Es muy básica quizás, pero póngala en la entonación correcta, lo que decía el compañero Salvador, entre más lo, entre más en, haga la entonación adecuada, va a sonar más natural. También lo decía David. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Y usted acuérdese del tipo de pronunciación que vamos a efectuar de, de acuerdo al tipo de preguntas. Si es preguntas con este, hay, que tienen information, questions, es, va a ser falling. Si es yes, no, va a ser rising, ¿ok? Entonces la respondemos, toman apunte de las eh, respuestas de los compañeros porque las vamos a compartir posteriormente, ¿ok? Entonces, let's practice. Let's get to practice. And algunos van a quedar de dos, otros de tres. Bueno, vamos a hacer de tres y de cuatro mejor, ¿ok? Así que no tengan miedo a abrir su micrófono, hable con sus compañeros y, y toma nota de, de las respuestas de los compañeros. Y pone el nombre a quien le pregunto, ¿ok? Here we go.
manualidades, pero no sé cómo se, no sé cómo se dirá eso. Okay, manualidades. ¿Cómo? Ah. Eh, videos instruccionales, pero son manualidades o, o no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Bueno. Eh, Jacqueline, which musical instrument do you play? I play the can, the consonants, creo que se pronuncia así, son las castañuelas. I do record that I have. Hello, Carla, what happened to you? Hello, hello. Carla, can you listen to me? Yes, I listen because I outside the group because I my my este my partner eh, she sent me some test and she sent me she doesn't work her cell phone I don't know she only can send a message me, este mensaje perdón. Eh, no le escucho. Entiendo, entiendo, perdón. Sí, este, usted estaba con Judith y estaba mm. con Nelly. Ninguna de las dos este, escuchaba. Eh, solo me recuerdo si Nelly fue la que me dijo que no le servía el teléfono. ¿Y Judith no y contestó? Intenté... No. La voy a asignar con otro, solo para que vaya a escuchar ahí a los compañeros. Va a estar bien. Hello, Giselle. What happened, Giselle? Hello? Giselle, do you listen to me? Hello? Me escucha, Giselle? Hello? Y se no, no le sirve el micrófono. Ok, ok, ok. I understand, entiendo. Bueno, uh, vamos a verificar cómo van los compañeros. Si no, los voy a llamar ahorita a todos, ok. Solo denme un segundito. The number five, the number five, what videos do you like? Hello, hello, Giselle, uh, Nelly, can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. Is oh, the... yes. Estaba escuchando, estaba eh, practicando con alguien, usted, Giselle, o no? No, se me salió de la reunión. Vaya. Yo creo que perdí la, la conexión porque se me salió y ya entré en solo. Al... Vaya, lo voy a unir. A ver, aquí está una persona solita, la han dejado. <ríe> y no se viene para acá, ya la voy a traer para acá. Vamos a ver, la madre para una sesión. Bueno. Porque todavía van en la, en la pregunta número 5. La voy a la voy a asignar a un grupo, Giselle, solo voy a escuchar a los compañeros. Si gusta, oye, la voy a asignar al grupo 3 ahorita. Okay, Unos dos gracias. minutos más. Ok.
Hello, hello guys, ya terminaron, hello. Yes. Yeah, we think yes. Okay, great. Okay. We need to go back to the main session then. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Thank you so much, guys, for practicing. This time I gave you more time for you to practice and ask questions to your peers, okay? So let's wait for everybody to come back so we can start sharing some ideas, okay? Uh, algunos que le, me, le fui a escuchar estaban allí practicando muy activos, otros pues se habían quedado callados. Recuerden que lo importante es aprovechar esos minutitos que se les da para preguntarle a sus compañeros y tomar nota de lo que se les está compartiendo. Ok, así que gracias a aquellos que estuvieron activos ahí compartiendo y ahí preguntando, porque yo pasé escuchando de repente pues muy activos unos grupos, otros ahí Este, ya se habían quedado callados. Hay que aprovechar el tiempo para poder practicar, okay? So, thank you so much for, okay. So, let's see. Uh, I need some volunteers. I want you to share with me. Quiero que compartan las, las preguntas. Las leemos con la entonación recomendada y las respuestas las pueden brindar también. Pueden tomar turnos, digamos que de repente quizás el estudiante A le pregunta al B y así sucesivamente. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? En su, entre sus grupos con los que hablaron. Por lo menos un par porque por el tiempo tenemos una actividad más que realizar. Your hand, please. Tenemos a Jacqueline. Le va, okay, Jacqueline. Uh, elija a alguien. Mm, de mi grupo, uh, David y Ana. Ok, excelente. Elija, choose one. Mm, no la veo. Ana. Hi. Hi, Anna. Do you like to watch TV? Yes, I like. What program do you like? Perdón. No, no. I can hear you. Repeat, please. Yes. Um, what programs do you like? Ah. Um. I watch um, programs um, of cooking or craft. And David, do you like to watch TV? Yes, I like it so much watch TV. What programs? Do you like? Uh, one of my favorite programs is Supernatural. It's a series in Amazon Prime Video. It's interesting. Supernatural is suspense yes. and terrific. E yes, this e series talk to Jesus, <laughs> the Jesus Christ, and the devil, the demons, and other things. Um. The last question is, which musical instrument did you play? I don't play anything instrument physical. I um, use the most complicated instrument is the voice. <laughs> and, and you sing? And yes, do you I, sing? Yes, I am single. I don't sing. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you so much, Jacqueline. 
uh, may, maybe you have the talent, Jacqueline. You haven't discovered that you are a great singer. <laughs> maybe we, we, we know. Dice que no, dice que no. Ajá. Dice que no canta y que quizás sí vaya y no nos quiere compartir, Jacqueline. Hmm. No lo vamos a poner a cantar. I don't like, I don't sí, like que, nos, que nos cante, que nos cante. No. <laughs> Only... Only in night karaoke. Okay, only. Yes, the... only, only in the Saturday nights. After a couple of, <laughs> after a couple of, you know. Mm -hmm. No, si ya con unas three bottles. Three tequila. <laughs> three, Everybody sing. Three tequila shot and then boom. Everybody <laughs> singing. Stop. Maybe, maybe. You know, y sale, ahí sale inglés fluido también, you know. <risa> hey, you know, son etapas, teacher. Son etapas. La cuarta, el inglés va en la cuarta etapa. Uh -huh. <risa> right. So when you listen to somebody, you know, my friends, and I mean, some of my friends, when they, um, so when you know they are trying is when they start speaking English, you know, like automatically after a couple of years they start speaking english all the time so that's a sign you know they are drunk so but that's another matter that's another thing all right so good i need to hear more more voices more uh, people pronouncing these these questions okay so who wants to do it another another group there were like many groups another pair who wants to participate guys come on Ya nos faltan 15 minutitos nada más, ok, please, eso solo es una hora, who wants to practice, y traten de, saben que, para que si usted siente muy fácil la, la pregunta, trate de expandirse, le voy a dar un ejemplo, do you like to watch TV, Ese. yes I do, I usually watch TV with my family on weekends, sometimes we watch TV at night, and some, sometimes we watch TV uh, in the mornings, we usually watch uh, our favorite program, which is this and this. Lo que quiero que se trate de expandirse, que no se limite a un poquito. Que sabemos que la pregunta es yes, no. Si diga yes, I do, pero usted le guste, amplíe, agregue more details. Si usted dice que es muy fácil, agréguele. Entre más le agrega, mejor. Ok, si dice que no le gusta, diga por qué y todo eso, ¿verdad? Así que uh, escucho un par más, escuchemos un par de más un, de participaciones, guys. Who wants to go next? Habemos 28 conectados. Ok. Veamos, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand to participate. Only reading and answering questions. Ayer, ayer se levantaban 10 manos de un solo y hoy ni una. Bueno, ya participaron algunos. Sí, eso sí es, es válido. Ok. Let's see who wants. Lo vamos a elegir. Jacqueline, ayúdenos, Jacqueline, que usted fue la que empezó a participar. Ayúdenos ahí eligiendo. Mm, Ruth. Ah, Ruth tiene, tiene mesa. Ah, ok, ok, okay. yes, yes. Mm. Olivia. Olivia. Ok, Olivia. You are chosen. Ah, un con Gilbert. Ok, yeah, good one. Vamos con, con Gilbert. Vamos, Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert, do you like to watch TV? No, I don't like to watch TV uh, very much. Why? Uh, because I prefer uh, watch videos on YouTube or uh, download movies and that's why I prefer oh do you like music yes I like music I like rock and metal music uh, what king of music uh, I like uh, rock music and I prefer 
uh, soft rock or uh, soft no metal. That's the kind of music that I like. Okay. Do you play a uh, musical instrument? No, I don't have an instrument. Um, what programs do you like? Uh, well, sometimes uh, when I watch uh, some TV shows or series, I like uh, action TV shows or, or supernatural things. Indeed, I like uh, the supernatural series. Uh, I like Doctor House. Uh, Curious like that. Oh, good. Uh, what videos do you like? Well, I like uh, horror videos, uh, haunted houses, uh, exploring, uh, things like that. Excellent. What musical instrument do you play? Uh, I have not uh, an instrument, but if, if I had one, um, I would like to play guitar. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah. Me too. Guitar or piano. Piano is good. Yeah. Thank you, Gilbert. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your participation. I love listening to you speaking English. That's the idea, okay? Thank you for expanding on your answers. Uh, well, two things. Supernatural. I, I heard this, David, uh, and now I listen from you, Gilbert. Uh, why don't you send me some details about it? I want to watch it. Maybe on my uh, free time. Hmm. Sí, es, es una serie fue bastante famosa de Warner Channel. You see, I, I'm very busy. <laughs> But uh, I still send it to me uh, and or send me the suggestion and then I will maybe uh, I don't know look for it eh? or if it is only on on you say Warner Channel, right? Sí, es que lo que pasa es de que no hay mucho detalle, la verdad. O sea, la serie se llama Supernatural y Literal. Todo lo que tenga que ver con cosas supernaturales, que zombies, monstruos, vampiros, hombres lobos, de todo. Demonios, ángeles, o sea, incluye todo. Son 15 temporadas de como 15. 20 capítulos cada una. 15. Y cada capítulo dura como una hora. Ajá, casi la hora. Pero Ay, es súper chivo, bien Después, interesante. Buenísima, buenísima. Hace poco la terminé de ver. Ah, y, y, ¿Cómo y, se llama? Supernatural. Supernatural. Y no no venden, por ejemplo, este, no está en internet o no está en no Amazon. Venden así. Amazon. Yo, ah, está en yo Amazon Prime Video. Yo le vendo ticket, sí. un acceso y, a sí. Amazon. Yeah. Eh, no, 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 no. No. Pero también la yo, puede encontrar pero, pirateada. Lo, Perdón por arruinar pero ese jamás, tipo de jamás negocio, va a ser, pero... Jamás va a ser, pero como verlo de la plataforma no va a ser igual. A no, planteada. perdón por arruinar ese tipo de negocio, pero le voy a dar la clave para usar Amazon. Amazon te da un mes gratis cuando te suscribís. Si dejan que la membresía se cancele por sí sola, la puedes volver a activar otro mes gratis. Yo así lo he mantenido, yo jamás he pagado Amazon y ahí lo estoy usando. Buenos tips. Como, como si ahí, ahí nos manda el tip ahí, ahí para entender eso. Yo... No, o sea, así de sencillo. Uno se suscribe y le regalan un mes gratis de la plataforma. Cuando el mes está terminando, aparece un mensaje que dice eh, su, su formato de pago ha sido declinado, dice, porque no tiene fondos y que no sé qué, pero siempre puede seguir viendo la serie. Llega un punto en el que ya no le permite verlo, tiene que volverse a suscribir, entonces solo se vuelve a suscribir y ya lo tiene otro mes gratis y así lo he estado activando yo. Ah, pero entonces es una tarjeta sin fondo la que se ha puesto. Sí, de hecho no sé ni cómo es que me la agarra esa tarjeta, la tengo desde <risa> como año y medio y nunca la he ocupado. ¿Es it debit o credit card? Es débito. Ah, interesante. Sí. 
bueno, vamos a, vamos a renunciar a un par de, ahí de, de horas y porque ahorita estoy bien cargado para ver esa película, esa serie. Well, um, thank you so much. Lo otro, learning to play an instrument, guys, is, is important. Pues yo hoy, justamente hoy, tomé la segunda lección de, de, de guitar y ando con dolor en los, en los fingers, tip of my fingers. Y siempre ha sido una resolución o un, una meta de, de año y nunca... Compré mi guitarra hace como tres años y nunca le logra diseño. Dije, 2022, yo voy a aprender. Pero a saber, ojalá que en diciembre esté contento, que ya puedo sacar una ranchera o algo así. Ahorita apenas voy por... Ajá, llevo dos clases y he hecho un... Hay una bien fácil, teacher, para tocar, es la de Nothing News Matters de Metallica. Ah, ya la vamos a buscar. <risa> ok, ahí nice, sí. Dice Diana que no le gusta eh, porque duele en los dedos. <laughs> ok. Bueno, guys, la verdad que thank you so much for sharing. Um, creo que todos tenemos diferentes propósitos. Yo creo que siempre dejar un tiempo para watch series, watch series, or learn how to play an instrument is, is a good thing. ¿Quién es de aquí de los 27 que están pueden tocar instrument? Who can play instruments here? Yes, I play instrument. Which instrument do you play, Jacqueline? I play consonants mm -hmm. mm, guitar and flute you can play guitar and flute wow yes mm, más o menos porque tengo las uñas largas entonces no lo, las notas mm. no salen como son mm, ok la, la malicia sobre todo ok las uñas se hace el how do you call this thing el, you, you, you make your nails right ok ajá uh -huh. And the flute, you say, interesting. Well, you might give us a demonstration, you know. That'll mm -hmm. be good. And Davey says only the voice, but that is the hardest one. I heard you said it. Okay, that is the hardest. Okay, then we are going to finish today's session. Thank you so much for, for sharing about your experiences. We, I wanted you to make a conversation, but then we're not going to work on this because you made it already. And then we have this conversation, but it's too little time to do it, okay? So tomorrow we are going to start with this conversation. This is on the platform, okay? You check it, listen to the way they pronounce it, and then tomorrow you come here and you, you say it, you pronounce it. This is on the platform. So I'm going to finish the com this, this class by asking, because I have three minutes, do you have any question, guys, about any exercise on the platform, or are we doing okay? Have you completed? Uh, the final of the section 5. Aha, because I had doubts about that too, because I reached the section 5. I had to pay you, Gilbert. Yes, I mean, it doesn't let me give you the next. There's nothing. We have to wait for you to be able to do something else. Okay. Well, the section 5 is the last one. You guys have already finished the course. That's why we have to wait. Well, teacher, another question too. Este, ¿cuándo finaliza? Porque a mí ya me mandaron los datos para meterme en el otro módulo. Recuerden de que lo, como la información se manda antes, ¿verdad? Nosotros vamos ahorita por la tercera semana. Esta semana es la tercera y son cuatro semanas. La otra semana es la última. Pero siempre se mandan datos prior, antes de, ¿verdad? Eso siempre ha sido así. Así que hay que ir ya, ya revisando ahí los horarios y disponibilidad. Pero no hay ningún problema en terminar en la plataforma antes. En realidad no, no, porque este, el problema es no terminar y se cierra el curso. Okay. Ahorita hay que estar esperando. Bueno, entonces, guys, ahí estamos. Eh, hagan los ejercicios y mañana puntualmente, si tienen alguna duda, lo tienen listo para la clase. Es mejor aquí en clase y que de repente pues, quizás una pregunta alguien la tenía, pues ya se aclara, ¿verdad? Entre todos aquí. Así que, este, por mí de mi parte ahora, it's, it's been... A great experience and thank you so much. Uh, try to rest and mañana que tengan un excelente día, echenle ganas, pues las cosas así son. El esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Al final vale la pena. The effort pays off. El esfuerzo tiene su recompensa. Cuídense mucho. Descansen and Good see night. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.